so this is a small story about uh, me from a village background uh, doesn't have any big uh, background from family or uh, financial or anything how i have traveled and where i am now so it's a small story uh, before introducing my personal thing i have done my uh, graduation in uh, bsc chemistry and uh, after that i joined uh, uh, mba and then i started my career like that it is going and academically i was uh, little studious uh, i uh, secured a 475 out of 500 in my 10th standard which was in way back 1996 that was the time it was uh, district first in tirunel valley and then it was state ninth rank that time and then in 12th i was about the, i was at uh, 1092 with maths physics chemistry and then but where, why i am saying this is those time there was not a proper guidance was given to me i was able to score marks but while choosing the career maybe i was little missing or something which it was the time no internet no google nothing there was no awareness levels are very low so whatever the college which was uh, next to me i have joined there that was the time but now students like you are uh, privileged to have a lot of knowledge there are, there are a lot of people like uh, the lecturers of your colleges uh, the director of this uh, mba program they are all there to guide you to a proper career selection so we have to make utilize of that so with that let me go into the program so there is a professional life journey for me which is started in the year 2001 i have started as a medical representative so how many of you are aware about this uh, role because as as uh, mr arun was telling that as a sales or a sales executive job many people are uh, thinking like it is a very tough one or it is not a very respectable one but my career started like this only yes with a bag on the hand walking around the roads of uh, uh, nagar koil because that is where my profession started it is maybe it's a very apt uh, area to start because that was the starting of india I, i would call it as so i started from the tip of our country and then uh, it was a different experience from a college uh, very controlled environment uh very friendly professors uh family parents and then there is there is not much of uh, uh challenges which is thrown to you other than the semester and exams and practicals and other thing balance is all uh, a predefined or a very uh, continuous balanced uh, life full of joy enjoyment and then little bit of fear about uh, exams that's it but after that when it when you get into the profession that is where you are uh, facing the life directly so that to as a small boy uh, just graduated and then going and meeting one of the uh, finest uh, people in the society which are doctors even now many of us are afraid about doctors we are all treating them like uh, a god even now today covid situation they are really a god kind of people but as a small boy i used to convince a person who is highly qualified so whatever the training given by my company on my product i have to find it uh, confidence in me and then i have to pass it the confidence to the opposite person so it is always easy for us to convince people who are below to our level for example as a teacher for you it is convince it is easy to convince your student or as a student it is easy to convince your parents being an adult student like college you will be easy to convince your parents who are not up to the mark on technology or advancement or other informations whereas in profession generally you will be talking to a people who are well versed in their profession be it a doctor or be it a, a supermarket owner or be it a, um, uh, any any other uh, professional customers they know their profession very well whereas you have to go and give guidance to them so that is the challenge in sales 
so that's how i started my career as a medical representative i continued there for about 4 years so 2005 i have joined a, a very good organization in india which is ipc limited now it is a very big conglomerate with a lot of diversification and this is where i have started my learning actually because in medical representative i was a raw salesman i know how to sell a product but i don't know what is behind the screen which makes a selling a process which i was not aware the three years was like a uh, like a, a raw drive it's a country drive kind of but when it when i joined as a idc limited it was like a driving through a highway so where i made my learnings i have understood about sales and distribution and whatever uh, we are learning in our uh, curriculum uh, that is uh, that gives you an idea but when you go into the field the challenges and the reality is something different so then i got promoted in the company itself in 3 years that was one of the fast track uh, promotion i started i promoted as a area sales manager and then i continued to work in itc for about 8 years where i put up a very strong base and i i am very strong on uh, my concepts then i moved to uh, rakit ben kaiser rakit ben kaiser is a company where most it, it is known for health and hygiene that is uh, their product range the few products are like uh, detol harpy glycol these are all the brands uh, every household knows about these brands so i was handling rest of tamil nadu see in uh, sales field chennai is a separate uh, city and then rest of tamil nadu is a separate uh, that's how the professional world they deal the geography so i was handling the rest of tamil nadu part for two years then i purposefully wanted to have a chennai metro experience because in sales profession having a metro handling a metro city is always considered as a one kind of a promotion even though as a position it is area sales manager but somebody who is handling a metro cities like bombay bangalore chennai hyderabad delhi they are all considered as a one of the uh, better professional in the field basically a, a person with the good skills person with an experience or within the company who is having a very good uh, record they only given the chance of handling uh, metro city because the stake on the companies on metro business is always higher so i continue with uh, nibia india which is another uh, wonderful company a german based uh, company it is basically the company name is bayersdorf but in india we people we know it as uh, nibia india private limited and then this is the time i have taken a new role which is a branch manager who is handling the entire tamil nadu where i was responsible for the sales and uh, profitability of the center so i have become a profit head for a state so all these years i was handling the sales sales and distribution i am not aware about uh, how much company makes a profit out of it whether what i sell is actually creating a profit to the organization what is my uh, net uh, revenue which the company makes out of my team and everything which was not a part of my kra till uh, my nivia stint so when i have taken over uh, everdy where i have been uh, introduced to the world of uh, profit and loss so where how the manpower is calculated what is the minimum threshold limit for a company to provide a, a manpower to create a sales headquarters and uh, to uh, to uh, send a stock from a warehouse to the distributor from the distributor to the retailer what are the spends are happening so how do we measure the cost where do we discount the cost? i mean i would not say cut the cost we can say optimize the cost all these things i have been uh, experienced so to get into this level i have spent almost uh, 14 years of my career then only these things are all even discussed with me so i spent about uh, two quality years with everdy then again there is one more uh, thing i have taken to myself which is the regional role so now i am handling the entire south india plus goa 
for uh, a prestigious organization called JK Paper, which is a 80-year-old company, a pure Indian company, Indian-based multinational company, and a market leader in uh, copier or paper segment. So this is how my journey uh, start started, and it continues uh, like this. So when it comes to FMCG, yes, all through the years except my previous first uh, stint, which is a pharma industry, and after that I was selling only in FMCG sector. So FMCG means what a uh, fast-moving consumer goods, which are all the brands, which are the products which are used in our daily life by a common people, and it is a branded one. So that is a that is the products we deal. which is anything which is packed which is branded and which is usable on a daily basis that's called an fmcg so in uh, in indian economy fmcg is the fourth biggest uh, sector the sector like automobile sector like uh, constructions oil and refineries so like that fmcg is the fourth biggest sector and uh, in fmcg there are many divisions are there it is a manufacturing finance uh training uh, hr so many things then uh, why sales and marketing or why it is important why you, so that's what I, i can talk about that only because i am uh, experienced and i am doing it for the last 20 years so just one definition in wikipedia which is marketing is the study of management and exchange relationship so that is what is uh, uh, exciting me this is exchange of relationship because in today's situation managing and exchanging relationship is the uh, tough task because people are uh, isolated they are very close but they are very isolated because of the technology because of our attitudes because of our environment so in this world in this world of isolation in this world of uh, social media and other things the only segment only division or only industry which talks about a relationship which talks about interpersonal skills which is the must is for sales and marketing because it is all about communication so which is what it is very much problem with many of the people many of the youngsters many of the family people husband and wife the problem is communication so that is what is i feel proud that i am in a part of a business it is my profession where maintaining relationship handling the uh, uh interpersonal skills is my profession and that is where i am uh, working on all all day long so that is gives me a proud to be a person in this industry and other than that what is that see everyone is a born salesman it is nothing like since i am selling a product i am called as a sales uh, profession otherwise everybody is a born salesman when you are uh, when you are a kid uh, you wanted to have a a uh, a ball or a bat or a geometry box what you will do you have to sell yourself your need to your parents see if you don't sell it properly your father will give you a very small or a very cheap product so but you must be seeing something from your friend who is having a, a imported brand or something you would like to have it so what you will do you will go home you will you will do a planning how how to pitch what you need to your your mom to your dad you will choose the customer to whom should i attack so that what i want will be given should i tell it to my father should i tell it to my uh, mother should i tell it to my brother through that if i tell it to my sister so what are you doing you are doing a sales there so you are selling your need so everyone everyone is a born salesman but somebody is choosing this as a profession somebody is uh, without understanding they are doing it as a profession even even in a, in a lecturer even a lecturer even a manufacturer even a uh, uh, accounts profession what they are doing they are selling their skills so you cannot run away with sales and even even a adult even for a, a marriage even in a family life what we do we sell ourselves everywhere so if you are able to market yourself if you are able to see you as a brand if you create a brand for you then you are you are doing sales there so there is nothing to worry or nothing to feel bad uh, to be a sales profession second is it is a recession proof yes even today 
with my knowledge with my uh, uh, interaction with my colleagues not most of the sales people are not uh, removed from the organization yes there are sizable amount of downsizing is happening uh, optimization of uh, manpower is happening especially after this covid because every industry is uh, facing the tough time in business every industry is uh, profitability is a hit after two months of uh, complete lockdown and still there is no uncertain that whether the industry will be running when it is going to start july august september but with my knowledge none of the sales people or none of the sales industry have removed the people from the market whereas my my friends who are working in the manufacturing industry my friends who are working in a quality industry those who are doing a quality certifications friends in automobile manufacturing sector banking sector finance sector they are all facing the uh, pink slip of course software this is a very common uh, name pink slip but sales unless you perform bad or unless you decided to create a issue to you no company will uh, dare to touch the sales team because see for a technology person if you remove somebody today you are facing a tough situation so that i don't want a 20 people who is working in a manufacturing site so i will i will use it with only five people once the situation comes i will add another 15 people for the same thing it is possible because if there is a technology is involved it is a closed environment controlled by the management so they can do anything but when it comes to sales it is controlled by the external environment we are dealing with customers we there is a lot of human touch is involved so you cannot create that kind of bond relationship human touch by suddenly changing a person or suddenly uh, reducing so that is what i am saying it is a recession proof across industry see automobile industry is facing a tough time but the person who is selling will be there same thing even i am reading that in uh, there is a, a, a good amount of software revolution is happening on uh, legal side lawyers are facing a problem in their profession because today the technology is so high that the technological applications can suggest a better legal solution than a lawyer can do it so in that kind of situation a lawyer will be uh, extinct unless for a special appearances in the court for a normal things you can do a google and you can do it even nowadays how many of us are going to the doctor directly most of the things we are googling out and then we are doing our self medication yes that is wrong but still it is it is done by millions and millions of people so across industries there is a threat but in sales i don't see even for next 20 years even if a technology is developed there is somebody else has to go and sell that technology to the world even a apple watch technology is super it has it, it has removed uh, like a, a your wrist watches are all now it is not required mobile phones have come so but somebody has to sell that on apple watch also somebody has to sell this webinar also zoom it removing so many uh, people in the world but to sell this zoom kind of uh, software there is somebody else is working to do the marketing and sales so that's why i call it as a recession proof and then it is adaptability see everyone everyone every every single species of this world who is not adapting to the change then it will become extinct so for the sales adaptability is it is inbuilt character we have to adapt to the situations every single day every single hour with the product for me yes i have traveled through seven companies so i have adapted to the characters and cultures of the company that brand that industry that segment so now i am like a complete refined man so that adaptability will be given once you are uh, ready for the challenge so that automatically will be imbibed to you that is the adaptability of this sales and this one i strongly say define and redefine see i i try to use the word with the with the intention define yes you are from a different different backgrounds we are studying we are um, meeting uh, we are having a different perspectives but once you set the profession be it anything there you are defining your character so that character definition 
will define your career progression will define your aspiration levels will define your inner happiness that is the most important thing because the people of my age your lecturers everybody can understand what is the meaning of inner happiness for a people who are starting their career at the very uh, early ages the happiness is outside by your dressing by your bike by your car by your, your gadgets that is the happiness you will feel to a certain age group beyond that what you feel inside what you do what what you uh, actually want to do and what you are doing these things will make you uh, the satisfaction in your work so these are all the characters will redefine you again a certain after a point of time that will make to redefine your character so these things are all part of this profession part of this life part of this fmcg business so this is what uh, i feel this is more important and of course a higher salary a good perks a good exposure which i got it yes i have so i can share a small small things in between this uh, i was from a village background like tirunelveli in 20 years back i have uh, you know uh, i have seen my uh, second show movie after i joined my company so that kind of background i was yearly one once i saw a movie in a theater after writing my semester exam after writing my annual exam i used to go and watch a movie in a theater that's what is the background so when i went for the first time with the college uh, some kind of a cultural program or something my college has taken me and they have taken me to a restaurant a kind of a three star restaurant after completing my uh, lunch there was a finger bowl is served to me for the entire table i was about to take and drink it you don't you, you guys don't believe it now because it was a it was looking like me like a lemon juice that was the awareness level i started my career luckily before i put it somebody of my friend has done it and everybody was laughing out of it so i i just got ex escape from that uh, embarrassment but i still remember it i still remember the hotel i still remember the table where i stayed so that was the, the life i started and uh, now i have stayed almost almost all the premium hotels of this uh, country and i have traveled some two three countries also abroad traveled by business class Tra stayed in a, a king suite of uh, residency towers and uh, uh, your um, big uh, hotel chains where i can't even dream of uh, doing my personal thing yeah even now i'm i can't afford to take my family and go and stay in a king suite of a marriott hotel uh, jw marriott the king suite will charge you a lakh rupee per per day in goa there are resorts are there which was booked by the organizations for a training purpose a per day rent of a suit room is about 75000 rupees a chauffeur driven car these are all the things which you will get out of this business out of this uh, profession and uh, the kind of exposure exposure doesn't mean uh, there are different kind of exposures yes but in this profession what kind of exposure i am getting the contacts you must have seen in uh, some old movies that information is the wealth no so contacts it's even more power powerful you don't want to be a powerful person by yourself but if you know the people who are powerful then you are really powerful there so in this business will this profession gave me a contacts of huge people good achievers top ranking executives even uh, big businessmen people like education people like you so now i got a contact of uh, this college this institution so this is the exposure which which is very very uh, precious and priceless and salary yes of course sales will always give you a best salary from the early stage itself in other professions in engineering in finance even in hr where your salary will increase by the time you put up on a decent amount of experience in the field uh, but in sales 
yes your salary is much much better compared to the early stages if you are starting as a career as a sales in two years down the line what the salary you are getting and two years down the line what an engineering do guy who's who's joined in a factory what he is getting is entirely different but after getting from, from here how to uh, grow up how to groom up that is in our hands but this industry gives you an opportunity for that so this is what i call it as why be you, uh, why 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 sales why not so this is one of the points which i feel which i experienced in my life where i started my career in uh, 19 years ago with uh, 3000 rupees salary but now i almost i am close to 50 times of that uh, uh, that salary now and i am competing with uh, people from iim iit even isb indian school of business i am competing with them i have done my uh, graduation i have done my thing from a rural background that doesn't uh, make me a back seat so this fighting spirit is given by it is learned from the market only so these are the three uh, uh, management levels in a sales field which is an executive level then area head you can call it as a different different terminologies and then it is a zone region national so these are all the three layers where you will be uh, seeing in a profession one is a lower management another one is a middle level management another one is the top management so i have sailed across all the three i was an executive initially and then i have traveled about 7 years as a middle level management and now i am last 4 years i am doing a a part of a top level management so what is the big difference in it so for a lower level the responsibilities or the expectations from a person is execution where you are expected to go and implement what has been told to you and after implementing it you have to give the feedback to the organization that what went wrong what went right what should have been better what kind of input should have been better and what competition is doing so this is the major job of a lower level management and for a middle level that's why this arrow was is little upwards middle level is a bridge between these two you are supposed to do the implementation you are supposed to do the sweat in the market but at the same time you have to do the strategizing part also and when it moves to the <clears throat> upper part where you are mostly taking the responsibility of the team you are working for the team you are giving a direction to the team and you are doing the strategy part you are doing the forecasting so these are all the things will happen so mr arun has given a small introduction like uh, roaming around the street then walking the, so that is the beginning yes it has to be done if you want to do a strategy if you want to sit in a, a, a discussion panel and define a strategy for a company who is investing let's say 1000 crores of a, a money you should know what is the pain or what is the reality in the market what a consumer will respond so you can you can spend lakhs and lakhs of money and time and energy but if a consumer can reject it in a matter of uh, seconds if it is not relevant to them or if the consumer will not uh, receive the communication what a company wants to give if you don't understand their way of communication so that is why the entry level is always little uh, tougher which is very strenuous which has been seen like a a sloggers by the by the society but once you are seasoned in that to be frank if now i am not at all going in the sun i am not uh, sweating at all unless my physical workouts and other things because now i am doing a different level so out of my 20 years yes first 6 years was like uh, walking through the uh, uh, muds or sand or whatever pollution in the breathing but after that it is now a strategy part but the pressure is always on the reverse side when i was going in the market meeting people sweating it out 
I have no internal pressure. I was pressure of all of my physical. But when I am doing a strategy, when I am doing a planning, when I am taking a responsibility of a team of 40 people and their uh, career, my pressure on my mental thing is increasing because my responsibilities are increasing. So that's why this this life is balancing. It is very well. I can correlate with the family life also. When you are a bachelor, when you are a, a kid, or when you are a student, what is your pressure? You will feel a very good pressure because everywhere people are asking me to study. When everybody is watching uh, movies, I was asked to study. When uh, when entire Diwali people are uh, enjoying for a one week time, I have uh, internal exams, I have practicals, I have assignments. So you feel like that as a pressure, but when you compare with your mother or your father, his pressure are entirely different. His pressure will be on how my son or daughter is going to be in his career. How I am going to plan a finance for his education. My uh, EMI. So that, that is the pressure. So same thing is here also. There is nothing new. Even in the manufacturing sector, uh, labor who is just doing an assembly line, he doesn't have any other things other than getting the finished goods. That's it. But as a plant manager, he will be looking at the cost, he will be looking at the materials, inward materials and uh, deadlines to deliver the material with the quality, with the reduced cost and using the technology, union, labors, politics, external environment. So everywhere these things are there. So that is the order of the day in any, any industry. So with my experience, I am I am suggesting or I am I was practicing and I am practicing these things and I am trying to improve these things which are all the things one is the attitude another one is health another one is discipline these three is important and it is very much important in sales and it is always there for every single profession that's what I strongly believe in terms of attitude it is perseverance Yes, anywhere rejections are happening, failures are bound to happen, but if you have a fighting spirit, your goal is set, you are clear what you want, then those uh, obstacles can always be overcome. Because nowadays even kids or youngsters or everybody is uh, very fragile, what I see, whatever I am seeing in the news or other things. They are not able to accept the failures. That is a that is a part of our parenting also. We are uh, we wanted to give our best. We wanted to give everything to our kids. We don't want to want to give a disappointment to our uh, kids because when uh, when we were there, uh, even to get a, a sandal from a Hawaii chapel, you need to wait for three to four months. It was not being given immediately, but now. Even my own daughter, she is easily throwing away a shoe and asking for a new one for a jogging to cycling. So that is the kind of environment what we live today where this perseverance is, is very much important. And then continuous learning which I have learnt throughout my career. When I was uh, young. When I started my career, I have not even seen how a computer looks like. What is internet? No idea. How do I do a presentation? No idea. My That time, the best presentation was the OHP projector. We have to do something on that. That I was thinking like, as if I was, I was thinking like I was doing some James Bond thing. Just to do a OHP projector. But after that, I am doing a webinar now. I made my own presentations. I do Excel calculations like so many complicated formulas. I'm able to do it, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm proudly say I'm competing with the uh, top management uh, candidates. You as my boss, as my subordinates, as my colleagues, where I need to cope up my knowledge. I have to I have to learn for the trade, and then decision making. This is another important one. Because most of us, we are what we are facing is, we are not able to design. Even when you go and buy a, a dress for you, 
we are not able to decide what color we want what design we want what what product i want when you go on a mobile phone we are very very confused so but when it comes to career you have to have the decision making so use your these two years of your uh, excellent period in your life to develop these three attitudes yeah see uh, there is a adha nama tiruvalluvar is there na enni thuniya karmam thuninda bhimi ennu om enbadhu irukku so and the, that that skill we have to develop before you decide do a proper research do a analysis gather information as much as possible but once you decide then you have to prepare yourself to face the consequences to face the failure learn from the failure and do it again there is nothing else i i happen to be a, a, a member of uh, some kind of uh, interviews some kind of uh, even a college uh, admission panel i uh, happen to be there for one or two times now i see a lot of people with a very clear objective which i feel like i should have been there like this when i started my career i happen to uh, be a panel of in admission with one college i i was doing an interview with a candidate who was come here for admission i said i asked him oh, why do you choose uh, mba or what is your objective he made a very clear statement he is a very young boy just finished his uh, bachelor's he said i wanted to be in a finance sector in the share market and i want to start my career and i want to settle down in mumbai he uh, i has never i asked him have you ever gone to mumbai no i never gone to mumbai is any of your uh, father or but somebody is there in finance profession no but he made his choice whether it is right or wrong is different but when i look at my time when i finished my college and started my profession i never had this clarity he was able to visualize in which town he wanted to work i never even imagined at that point of time where i am going to work so this kind of clarity is there with youngsters today because of the exposure because of the information and other things but how many of us are having that uh, is a question mark because informations can give you a clarity also and the too much of informations can confuse also so we have to be clear on our decision making second is the health which unfortunately most of the today youngsters are avoiding it yes there is a considerable amount of people who are serious about it but whatever the people i see who are serious about it are all about 35 and plus except some sports people who are at 20 22 25 who are in working profession be it a software be it a finance banking sales anything i see a considerable amount of negligence on this health parameter see i am now 40 now and uh, i do about uh, 1200 kilometers in a year i run 1200 kilometers in a year approximately 100 kilometers in a month and uh, i had a surgery in my knee uh, due to some accident it's a keyhole surgery ligament tear but again i started my running and now i am doing it a marathon of about 32 kilometers i completed in 4 year, 4 hours so this gives again this is not uh, i am not going to be a usain bolt or i am not going to be somebody who's uh, who's going to be a sports as a profession but this health this stamina will give me a sense of satisfaction it keeps my body in a fit shape when i dress i am confident when i dress up i am able to influence the people opposite me imagine i am looks clumsy i am shapeless i am fat i cannot influence people i am not saying that that is the only thing to influence but along with your skills along with your knowledge if your presence your physical presence is better you will be influenced or you will influence people in a very big way and in sales 
yes there is always a challenge physically you have to travel you have to travel in a different different ways i traveled by bus i traveled in unreserved uh, train i sat next to the toilet and traveled after traveling by this i will go to a star hotel and staying in a suite room because i would not have booked the tickets or tickets would have been then last minute the meeting would have been called so i would have been traveling in a unreserved uh, train or a bus or uh, shunting travel and then where i will go i will have a five star life so you have to prepare for that also you cannot expect the comfort in every single way and market work or be it in office extended uh, working hours till late night and again you are asked to do a presentation in the morning with a full energy face to be fresh these are all the things is required in a uh, business where your body is the major thing whatever you earn whatever the heights you reach you need to have a sound body to enjoy that then mental as i said previous when you go up the ladder your mental pressure or your stress level will obviously will increase where you need to have a mental health for that you need to start reading the good books get the ideas of the achievers listening to the audio streams of the people who are very successful all those things which definitely require and then discipline the first point i put as ethics ethics means what you should have a principle for you no everybody everybody as a character as a person they will have a principle and in sales there is a general term that uh, if you keep on lying and you will lie the person to sell so sir all that's all not a right way to explain you are a customer if somebody is lied and sold a product to you you will ever even accept the person again so in today situation with the customer centric consumer centric approach everywhere is happening so ethics has to be maintained and self discipline because in profession in sales in the, you are all out alone you are traveling alone you are staying alone you have a cash you have a salary so that del self discipline is more important for you to define your career to your profession to your family the people who are depending on you so that self discipline is very very important for you to be a achievers that the moment of uh, uh, what do you call the temptation will ruin your life be it in office be it in the market be when you are at hotel be when you are at travel so the temptation will happen with the age with the uh, distractions whatever you see but that self discipline everybody has to develop right from the age of education while you are doing in a college and everything and then friends obviously you will be surrounded with your friends who as a colleague who is a coworker who is a superior who is a stranger so what friends you choose to be with you or what friends you choose to be with them that also will define your uh, your personality your career and everything which is fortunately i have a very good friends who are who are, who are ambitious who are growing for themselves by looking at them i am also getting uh, driven to grow much much higher so that is most important one and what are the other things which we need to avoid which is automatically will come to us but we have to be very clear on selecting that one is procrastination procrastination tends to happen everybody everybody will do we will do it tomorrow we will do it later i will do it tonight i will do it in after one hour so that will keep on happening it it is happening to me also even now but we have to constantly work on it we have to understand that this is the problem that is more important the most prob the biggest thing what i feel or what i we feel in our profession is we are not even understanding what is the problem is so once you identify the problem then solutions are many there are many people to guide you but the problem is identifying the problem so this procrastination if you have plus first let us accept it 
let us identify we are doing it even waking up from the bed that is the classic example of this keep it in your alarm at 6 o'clock and you will obviously end up getting up at 7:30 snoozing that is a big uh, thing in option every 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes so like this if you start doing it in your life in your career in your profession then your growth also will be progressed in it so it is a directly proportional na huh? when you do when you delay your implementation then the result also will get delay then it comes to prioritization prioritization is a part of time management because in now many people are not respecting the time which i i personally somehow i developed from the beginning that you can waste your time no matter because it is your time but by doing that you are wasting somebody else time that you can't afford to do that because it is their life their time if you are having a priority if you are having a meeting if you are having an appointment either you have to be it is not like half an hour before you are going there that is not required but you have to be on time but obviously due to many reasons cities like chennai bangalore traffic is not in your uh, your near hands where you, you normally you will travel one hour to reach an office but if if a given day it can be a 3 hours also but the intention what i am mentioning here is you should have the courtesy to call a person and tell them that i am stuck up in this position i will not be able to make up by the time what i committed so you decide what to do now many people are avoiding that they are they are taking as granted that actually irritates people who are waiting there it can be in a personal life also if you are going to meet your girlfriend if you are like this she will you will realize what will happen after that so in that you will be calling 20 times updating every signal but in comes to the professional life i still see a lot of executives a lot of even my managers who are handling the entire state they are not even updating me when the things are not happening on time but i make a point to myself that either i will finish it by the time which is given if that is not been done due to many reasons i will ensure that i will inform the person that i am not able to be on time i am not able to finish it on time i may need it another one day one hour 10 minutes is it okay for you so that culture we need to develop for that you need to do a prioritization what to prioritize what to do first what to do next what to do do so that is not only useful for the college life it is the base you have to develop when you are getting into the career thing so how do you prioritize that comes into planning so you have to have a plan properly you have to have a contingency plan plan a plan b plan c that can be done that is being done by our housewife our moms are doing for ages and ages how do they plan for the day for cooking even even a small uh, gathering there is a planning is involved right from our kitchens to the conference rooms this planning is must so if you have a proper plan then you can prioritize if you do the prioritization you will not do the procrastination so these are all interlinked which i wanted to communicate so this is what i these are all the things which made me as a boy who are careless who are uh, was a uh, young and uh, ignorant innocent whatever you call it as to become a man this sales profession this fmcg industry has given me an opportunity to become a man now now i am uh, i have a daughter i can influence her i can i am very much confident that i can give her a good guidance because of my exposure because of my people handling skills because of my problem solving skills i can give her a confidence i can support her thank you for uh, being patient to listen my kuti story and it's open to mr arun and anybody any anything you wanted to ask you can ask uh ram ji sir thank you sir thank you for your session and your beautiful story yeah uh, yeah ram ji sir can you hear me manimaran yeah yeah yes sir yes sir 
Uh, thank you, sir. Keep in touch, sir. Now sure. I have planned. I have now I have planned many things with you. Sure. Now your entire story. You have showed us different companies. Now mm. that is going to be the task for uh, Dr. Arun to okay. act for campus recruitment. Okay. So kindly support us in campus recruitment also, sir. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Keep in touch, sir. Thank you, thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Arun. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you for the wonderful thank session. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ranjit sir. It was really wonderful. Uh, students, if anyone is there, uh, you can uh, raise your question through chat box. Uh, okay, let the question come. Uh, Ranjit sir, I just want to thank you personally. Okay. What so was the difficulties did you face? There is a question. What was the difficulty that you faced in your beginning of the marketing field? Yes, initial was away from home, that uh, homesickness, then outside food. So initially it was all personal, physical problem only because at the beginning stage, the expectation from you, from the organization is very, very minimal. So it's all the hurdles and difficulties, what you face is within you. That's why I say you keep your help, keep your mind fresh, keep your health fresh. That is the bigger difficulties I faced in the beginning and also talking to the new person because we are all in the controlled environment talking to the known person only always. But here every day you have to meet a new person. You should have the knowledge of what is he is interested. You should develop that also. That's why you can break the ice. So that is the difficulties I face. Nothing else. Any more questions, please? Okay. Hope I can uh, okay. come to your conclusion. Okay. Uh, Ramji sir, it's really a wonderful session. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what we think we are in number one. Is there any, any more question? The difference between, what is the difference between marketing and sales person? That's the question, sir. Ramji, sir, your time. Okay, okay. See, oh, where is that? Oh, what's the difference between marketing and salesperson? Yes. See, sales, marketing is the, I would call it as a back end. Or it is, see, one is sales is making the product available. Marketing is making a consumer to buy the product in a very raw angle. I am not going into the definition, not a textbook definition which you can get it from Google or Wikipedia. What I feel is, see you are going to a supermarket, you wanted to buy a soap or you wanted to uh, buy some, uh, some of the uh, uh, biscuits or something. As a salesperson, my job is to make my product available in that supermarket. A marketing person, through his campaigns, through his branding, through his packaging, through his advertisement, will make that product at top of my choice in a customer so that you will buy that product. So all the marketing expense, everything will prepare the consumer to select my brand. But by doing sales, that process will be completed because if the product is not available in the market, even if you wanted to buy, you cannot buy, then all the marketing efforts are wasted. So this is the basic difference. Hope is that answer to you. Hope we can uh, end up with the question and answer session. Okay. Friends, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Arun. It's, okay, it's a time for me to have a formal uh, word of thanks, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, start uh, as I started. Uh, what we think we are in number valve and uh, work is worship. I can relate these two quotes uh, from the session of uh, Mr. Ramji, sir, where uh, we have seen only in uh, Rajini movies a person of nothing who has turned to a crorepadi, and after your session, we come to a real life uh, thing that it is can be possible with your experience and your uh, way of thinking to be in your life. 
this transformation is uh, really wonderful sir a person from a rural background and now you are competing with the uh, uh, graduates in your profession is really awesome sir thank you uh, and amid of your busy schedule you uh, given me uh, given us a good time and it is validated with your points and your experience and uh, we gained a lot sir thanks for your insight especially on the field of marketing fmcg and uh, hope now my students dear students i made this session very particularly to you all uh, to know this what is really happening what is the real time experience if it is shared you may know uh, you can realize where you are and where you can reach and uh, thank you for the other professional also who is uh, being in the webinar session 4 uh, thanks for joining us and i really thank again our management uh, chairperson uh, pro chairman our principal sir uh, dr s manimaran sir for uh, full support Uh, being as a placement officer, he has given his view and as, and my, always my uh, guidance, and my uh, dear fellow faculties and our faculties uh, of participants and my lovable student friends. Thank you, thank you, one and all. Join with us in all the seasons of webinar. So thank, you. thank you, sir. This is a really a great pleasure to be here. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, sir. Sir, many thanks, sir. Shall I close, sir? Thank you, thank you, sir.